as a believer, I thought that I needed to always say yes. Somehow I thought that if I said yes all the time, that meant that I was being somewhat holy. Oh, sure. No problem. Oh, no. Oh, I got that for you. You want me to do what? Oh, you need this? Oh, I got that for you. But what he brought to my attention was that having boundaries and the power. Look, he called it. I'm going to give him credit. His name is David Sincere. He said that being able to say no is a superpower. And not only that, he said being able to say no without explanation. Ooh, that caught me. Because I started to think about my relationship. See, because you can't have one without the other. Learning to love you as you learn to love the Lord. It's like it goes together. And why I, I, the reason why I'm saying this is that when he said that, I thought about something. That one of the things that we know we are sealed by the Holy Spirit is the seal. It's the proof that we are a part of the family of God. And when God convicts you, do you notice something? When he convicts you about a thing, whatever the thing is, he don't give you no explanation. He just said, you get a, a little something in your spirit to say no. That's all you know is no. Either you're going to respect him or you're going to do what you want to do. And we already know what the word of God says. Ways of sin is death and gift of God is eternal life. So you either going to obey him, you reap what you sow. So either you're going to obey him or you're going to deal with the consequences. But God doesn't give you when he convicts you personally. He doesn't give you an explanation. He, when he says, no, don't do that. Initially, he does not give you an explanation. 